Hey everyone. I know I don't talk about Halo much, but something really important happened relating to it recently. It's to do with the current E3 presentation that's coming out on Sunday where we're going to delve into the multiplayer of Halo Infinite, but I managed to get my hands on a leaked build of it. I'm not even joking. And there's the real kicker. Instead of having a playable elites, they said we won't get them. We instead have playable roots, which makes sense. They're a bigger part of the story, it seems, with the Banished playing a pivotal role in the campaign. Probably a lesser enemy, there's probably some greater enemy in the background, but this is still really interesting. Now, I haven't managed to get much footage from my playthrough of this leaked build, but I hope that this is good enough. And I just want to say that I'm being completely serious with this. And if you want to preserve this, because it's probably going to get taken down pretty soon, screenshot it, download it, spread the word, playable brutes in Halo Infinite's multiplayer. Alright, let's pull it up. Alright, here it is. It looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. I love all the new stuff they're trying out here. Like, it definitely has some very jarring changes. Like, I'm not really sure how I feel about the positioning of the health and shield display. But this is absolutely amazing. We have resource management. We get to gather all of these resources throughout the game from aspects of the environment. It just looks like it's going to be a complete and utter redo of everything, which I'm not personally against. I really love Halo trying to experiment, and I do have a very big soft spot for the games that try to experiment. I'm not sure if this will go down with the rest of the community too well, but nevertheless, you can't deny that this map looks absolutely beautiful. Let me get around and get a better look at it. This looks amazing. I'm not quite sure what that tower is supposed to be. Maybe it's a redesign of the Forerunner Towers from Combat Evolved. Hopefully not, because I don't really like it, but I don't mind it too much. Here's an even more greater view of the map, and what looks to be a banished outpost. Now another thing I noticed is that there seems to be placeholder NPCs. I didn't encounter much when I was going through this build, but nevertheless, um, here's one coming up now. And I gotta say, I love the weapon sound design. It just really sticks out to me. And I love the third person take two when it comes to the combat. It really adds a whole new layer. Now that NPC dropped a weapon which looked like it could be a banished weapon, it seems, but it's called the Railgun, it seems. Which is really weird because I wanted to anticipate 343 redesigning the entire Railgun and I thought it was fine enough. Oh, here's another MP. What are they doing? Where are all these walls coming from? Oh my god, what is this? Oh, oh, this is getting tense. Oh, oh, they got me.